All right. So the next group that will be up are themes from Galileo High School. Yeah. Um, hi everyone, uh, we are the peer resource group from Galileo High School and I just want to take a moment to introduce ourselves. My name is Rianse. My name is Enza. My name is Angelina. My name is Tatiana. And we are here to introduce our zine project. So does anyone here know what a zine is? Anyone? <laughs> is it? Raise your hand if you don't know what a zine is. Okay. So our zine is an informational magazine that youth can use to find information about common issues that they may or may not be going through. Uh, the zine includes topics such as DACA, body image, um, healthy versus unhealthy relationships, and more. So while we were doing research, we found out that statistically, girls of color are the largest growing juvenile justice population in the U.S. And young African American males and young Latino males are the lowest performing group in SFUSD. Our team wanted to change that. So what we did is we made the zine and it'll help them because it'll serve as a resource that they can rely on. And even though it targets our focal group, we think that this zine is welcome to everybody to read, like it's good for all people of all ages. And it's not just like a boring textbook, it's really creative. And the topics that we have in our zine, it's something that affects the youth, or if they're curious about it, if they want to learn more about it, they're welcome to read it. We hope to impact the youth by, by encouraging them to speak up and to know that they're not alone when dealing with everyday life basis. Me personally, one of the zines that we have is a healthy and versus unhealthy relationships. And I feel as if, you know, as being in high school, everyone goes through relationships. Come on now. Um, and sometimes people don't understand what a healthy relationship and an unhealthy relationship is. Another situation that we have as a dean is DACA. I feel like since the, election, the presidential election um, happened last year, I feel a lot of people were affected by it and DACA was created. These zines help. These zines help all of us to know that we have resources, and we have people who actually go through the same things as everyone else. Um, the zine can also help decide on what to do next and what to help ourselves to develop ourselves. What we should do later on in the future. Okay. Uh, we value the youth, and we believe that the zine is important because it gives the youth an opportunity to uh, make a change in themselves and in society. And it's also, we, make, we the youth made the zine, so it gives uh, a youth a chance to express their opinions and uh, probably inform other people that are going through the same problems. And we are hoping to make an institutional change by um, making motivating the youth to speak up and uh, uh, help them become a leader in their community. Okay, lastly, we will, we're hoping to get these funds to turn our zine into hard copies to be distributed to the English department for reading material and also to be put online for students at Gal and available to, to resources throughout the city and we are going to hand out some scenes that we make for fun and this isn't like the hard copy it's just thank you does anyone have any questions about the meeting Would anyone like any clarification of the mm -hmm. yes. yes, I'm still kind of confused. Um, so in this form, I know it's like your basic, uh, but what, what do you, what's your goal? Like, do you want like a magazine or a pamphlet or a hard copy?
copy. That's a good what, question. What form would it come in? Okay. That's a good question. And your name is? Uh, Elijah. Okay, so Elijah's question was, what, were our, what was our goal for the zine? Our goal for the zine is to reach out to younger, reach out to youth in our community and to not only and to not only show them, not, not only youth in our communities, but students of color. And it's like a magazine, and it's like pictures, and it's like an everyday life situation. In the form of a comic book. It's not like a regular, you know, book where you have a little words, it's like pictures. And... Any more questions? Yeah. Oh. Oh, um, I was wondering, like, what does your system of publishing mean? Is going to publish them like once a month, like a magazine, or like just have a set copy forever? We're gonna have multiple different, like, works by groups of students compiled into one magazine. Mm -hmm. One more? Yes. Don't you think students will just won't care about it and throw them away? So it'll be a futile thing to do, like make them like paper. Um, well, they're going to be distributed to the English department at our school, so and we're going to try it. I feel as if it's not only topics that other students want to care about, but it's topics that everyone can relate to. Everyone comes from different backgrounds, everyone probably goes through the same thing, maybe not the same concept, no, maybe not the same story, but the same concept. concept. Um, people all have different ways of coping with situations like these. And I feel as if from coming from the zines, everyone can come from their background and their story. And it's really up to anybody who reads the zines to see if they really want to take the advice or they want to go their own way. Yeah. Right. Um, well, and you pull out the name um, it's going to be available to peer resources throughout the city, and it's going to be online, so anyone can see it. But what if you're not, like, what if you just want to fill can you? Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah? What makes reading these zines any more viable or trustworthy? than reading the countless other pamphlets about safe sex, safe relationships, all the other things that are found at wellness centers and at clinics and lots of other stuff. That's a great question. Well, by reading these zines, you can learn, basically learn from other people's experiences. Like, they're putting their experience into a book so that you can read it and decide whether you want to save their lives or not. Or like, from and it's by students, so you know, students from Galileo, we all have our inputs and we all have our stories to tell. And I feel like if everyone has a right to tell their story. Any more questions? Um, on the idea that these are stu uh, stories from students, are you guys going to have like professional artists come in to draw these out or have students? The media arts will be doing that for us. Okay. So you guys said that it was going to be by students. So what if a student doesn't want to be published, but are you guys going to be able to put it anonymously, or do you have to put it on your paper? So we're going to change the names. It's really up to the student. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to put their story out and they did not want anyone knowing it was from now, it can be anonymous. As long as it's helping other students, about their situations and what they need to grow in life, it's fine. Any more questions? Oh. Oh.